Well, you know what's so disappointing is they, this was the best chance mm -hmm. they have ever had to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals again, but it is not going to happen. The hockey season in Buffalo came to an abrupt end tonight at the Forum in Montreal. They did stop Stefan Riche with a couple of hard, nice checks. Mike Ramsey dumps Guy Carboneau with a check at the blue line. But in the first period, Canadians on the power play. Matthew Schneider skates into the Sabre zone. His shot is blocked, but he gets the rebound. Puts it in at the nine-minute mark. Montreal up one to nothing. But just a minute, 22 seconds later, Sabres on the power play. Doug Bodger from the point. His shot is deflected into the net by Rick Vive. Past Patrick Uwa. It's all tied at one after the first period. In the second period, the Canadians, Mike McPhee skates in. He is drilled by Jay Wells, which shakes the puck loose from Pupa, who reaches back for the glove save. Maybe that was a goal, maybe not. The Canadians argue to no avail, but it's 16-22. The Habs, Shane Corson skates into the Sabre zone, draws the defense, passes off to Brent Gilchrist on the wing. He skates in, beating Pupa. 2-1 Montreal after two periods. In the third period at 4:47, the backbreaker. Russ Courtnell from behind the net goes out to Claude Lemieux. Montreal up by a score of 3-1. At 6:07 though, the, Sowers on the Sabres on the power play. Dave Anderchuk will score after he finds the puck. That cut the lead to 3-2. But at 8.48, Russ Courtnell will take a long pass off the board, skate in, beating Darren Pupa. That put the Habs up by a score of 4-2. to two. And then with just two minutes left in the game, Rick Dudley pulled Pupa from the net, and Russ Courtnell would answer again. This time, he will score an empty netter. And by the way, Patrick Ruois was just fantastic tonight, stopping 27 of 29 shots. And here's that last goal of the game, the empty netter by Courtnell, and finally for the first time in this series, Pat Burns behind the Montreal bench cracks a little bit of a smile. The additional handshake, Montreal eliminates the Buffalo Sabres by a score of 5-2, to two, taking the series four games to two. Brian Blessing is in Montreal, and he has this report. The Sabres had outplayed the Canadians for a good portion of game six, but found themselves down 3-1 with 15 minutes left in the season after Claude Lemieux scored. But Buffalo hung tough. Dave Anderchuk's power play goal at 6.07 of the third gave them new life. Then, on a play similar to Rene Robert's famous goal in this same building, Russ Courtnell took a pass off the corner boards and beat Pupa, making the margin two again. The season ends for Buffalo in game six. We were beaten by two players. We were beaten by Richet and, uh, and Roy, pure and simple. Pupa played very, very well, and he's a great goaltender. Lewa was unbelievable at times, and Richet did what he's supposed to do, and then some. The Sabres' motto this season was celebrate the tradition. The tradition continues. Buffalo exits the Stanley Cup playoffs in the first round. The Canadians' 4-2 victory sends the Sabres home in game six. A great regular season, yes, but team success is gauged by performance in the postseason. This team has to be disappointed. From the Forum in Montreal, Brian Blessing, News 4 Sports.